After more than a year of pandemic restrictions, seeing larger crowds might take some getting used to. WFMZ's Tom Rader spoke to a local mental health professional about adjusting to the changes. Just weeks away from full capacity inside and out, when you see images of a large crowd after all we've been through, how does it make you feel? It was a pretty substantial fear for a lot of people who might have difficulty with anxiety in general, being around people, how to navigate certain social waters. Following a year plus of ad nauseum notices and guidelines regarding avoidance of such waters, it's time to get back in the being around lots of people pool. But for some, it's not a simple societal switch. People are used to uh, experiencing COVID anxiety associated with crowds. And there may be some residual effect of that that's going to be kind of a holdover for some people. Be it a ball game here in baseball town, the beach, or any crowded activity that lies ahead, for some it may be a matter of picking the right one to help them get adjusted. What kind of crowd do I pick to adjust myself into uh, as we move forward out of this epidemic? And while uh, at first glance, we might actually take that for granted. It's not something to take for granted. Why a missing psychologist Timothy Ring says for some, this is like a long lasting traumatic natural disaster. And perhaps others have found solace in the opportunity for isolation. So everyone will have to pave their own path out of this pandemic. Expect that there's going to be an adjustment period and don't have expectations that are excessive that you're going to go through this adjustment uh, just because life is returning back to normal. If you are experiencing any mental health issues, it's important to reach out to a professional. Tom Rader, 69 News.